Hey, New York Giants. I see the coconut tree. Oh. <laughs> Snatch that right at the air for a touchdown. Puts the Vikings up 20. <laughs> like a reincarnation of Tom Brady when he was younger. Woo! Oh, check this iguana out. Hey, buddy. How's it going, man? Wow, you're nice and bright green. Oh. You're beautiful. Yep, you look healthy. Nice fat belly. Fed well here at the restaurant. You get everybody's leftover fruits and vegetables, huh? Ooh. Oh no, 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 don't bite me, don't bite me. You probably want to whip me with that tail. I think that's what y'all do, bite and whack with that tail. Iguana. Restaurant iguana. Yep. Fruits and vegetables, so I don't think you don't eat meat. Uh, Susan Shockley's husband used to have an iguana. He just stuck his arm in there and that iguana would bite the, bite the brakes off of him. Man, he was crazy. I forgot that dude's name, but he lived in K Willow. Check the surf out here. See what we can get into. See if we can see what kind of plastic we got out here. Take note of this green piece. This area could use a lot more work than I can give it.
see that? Went for my bag. It's too hard. It's too hard to hold the bag too. It's super windy. Too windy to do this. So it's gonna have to be another day. I only got a half a bag, but it's better than nothing. Yep, it's right rough out there. Especially since the typhoon is so far away. It was a bad idea to pick up guards. It ripped my bag almost up right away. I got a decent half a bag of it though. I'll come back when I get a chance to pick up some more. I got some good stuff on a lot of plastic out of there. So it's not gonna go somewhere now. Except in the landfill. To the landfill you go. First, I'm gonna go to my garbage bin up there, up stairway to heaven. So, my 401k is doing pretty good. It's still blue and white. <laughs> it's only three bedrooms, so. Three bedrooms, three baths, and four, another bath, four baths, one right here. So, yeah, glad that the typhoon didn't come by here. Cause I really, you know, I blew my 401k on that, so I can't stand a whole bunch of structural damage. <laughs> I can hack a little bit, but. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Olaski. How are y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing good. How about you, Dan? Are you doing all right? And smart biz. Wow. They don't got internet in Germany. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. Wow. It's probably blazing fast in Germany. I got to tell you, I heard a lot of horror stories about the internet around here but it's really pretty good um, actually in the capital there's a dead zone but around here in Bugasong with the uh, I got fiber so how bad could fiber optics be it's pretty good here it's a uh, I think it's a little faster than cops in Virginia so that gives you a gauge Hi. Yeah. Just have a little bit of bird poop here and there. Everything looks good. Oh, look at that rice. All that beautiful rice. Boy, that could feel that could feed a bunch of people right there. Sure can. Oh yeah, it looks nice. Boy, they painted that brand new uh, deck cook that's a candy place right there they painted it nice and bright don't it oh yeah yeah the rice looks beautiful my wife has some rice on the other side over here i think it's ready man see how much is more it's golden it's back that way a little bit oh well, it's looking pretty good out there golden yeah full below It was real windy right here, so I just did a voiceover. But I'm sitting on the seawall down at that peninsula that I'm looking at out there. I, my house is around that peninsula in a cove over there. I'm down where at the uh, beach where I, at the end of the road where I used to live. And that's just a look at back and forth there. Um, 
just the, the seawall I'm sitting on has got a curved face facing the water. And uh, you can see it right down in there. You can see plastic is everywhere. Look at them bottles. And uh, anyway, one day we will go down to the end and see what the construction of the seawall is one of these days because they completed a, a more a lot more of it since I last looked at it but one day the seawall will be uh, down there where I live uh, but that's many that's several miles many miles of the seawall down there it, it took them it took them like a year and a half to build this little section right here but during one of the um, typhoons, uh, it flooded up in here and got salt all in the rice field down there. So they put it up here first where the worst flood was. But heading in that direction right there, they're gonna go around. It's gonna end up going by my house down there, I understand. That's what an engineer told me. So we'll see if I'm still alive by the time they get down there. I'll probably be, if I'm alive, I'll be 80 something. <laughs> Follow the red brick road. <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road. It's red brick, man. That's some nice brick. They gotta finish off the edge. The hook. Gonna follow the yellow brick road. Gonna be nice when they finish it. There's a baby lizard in there. And there's another one over here. Granddaddy, you like granddaddy, don't you? Over here. Oh, have mercy. It's a big one. That's a big one, man.
you better stay away from mama. That's what's wrong with your neck. It's the restaurant right there. A snake? No. I don't know if your, does your restaurant got iguanas and chickens running around <laughs> by the river? Not a bad place to eat lunch. They usually have the best salad around here, here, but they were out. So that was disappointing. But the seasick was delicious. And we got some to go home too, so I'm gonna eat that for dinner too. Spicy CC. Spicy CC for dinner. No rice, CC and um, lumpia. The little lumpias. And this is the road to San Jose that way. Bugasong that way, where I live. It's an interesting little lunch place, I'd say. That looks like just regular grass, this huge. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna come down right here. Steps. <laughs> Order lunch, play a game of chess while you're waiting. They have these little tables. Okay, it's time to go. So it's another day in the books. 62 to freedom. Wow, just got out of the shower just in time, man. Oh yeah, she's cracking. It's not epic. It's pretty good though. Pretty good. You know, I just remembered today I went walking down the beach and on the way out, I forgot that I didn't get the grass from that Biocubo right there, this way, about even with this balcony. A little strip back in behind there. It's not really that much. <laughs> but I noticed it. So I gotta do that tomorrow. Huh, Intig. My daughter said, oh, there's two more typhoons in the Pacific. I'm like, man, it's not typhoons yet. It's, I think they're just called invests. But um, one of them looks like, you know, one of them's up, up too high north to affect this area. It'd be the worst it would be is like it just was, suck some rain up in here. But the other one looks like, I don't know, Looks like it could head this way, possibly. But you know, it gets to that certain point and starts heading north. So, most of the time. But, 
not always but it's still we're like over at micronesia so it's hard to tell it might just peter out might peter cottontail out eh? hopping down the bunny trail once it gets over there to guam you know that's when you can really tell um what it's going to do after it passes guam a lot of them are born in Guam, the typhoons. They're born right in that area where my friend Dan lives. Shout out to you, Dan. Hope you're doing right, all right over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you are. It's uh, what's not the light. Guam has got some good weather like here. It's never bitter cold. Dan the man. And uh, Bob Barbecue. He lives over there too. I'm pretty sure he does. I think he does. If he doesn't live there, then shout out to you, Bob Barbecue. Big shout out to Bob Barbecue. And also to Smart Biz, some of my loyalist, most loyal subscribers. You know, it's about time for, uh, you, know, you know, all the retirees, the gang up, <laughs> gang up together. Wow, there goes a little bat. All right, that's the end of the day. 62. 62 to freedom is out. In case you didn't think I was here, you like my uh, Barakai t-shirt. A Barakai wife beater, which I don't, I don't beat wives. <laughs> I only had one wife, so I never laid a hand on her. She whacked me in the top of the head one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Anyway. Oh, uh, peace to everybody. See you on the flip flop. Wow. It blew up. Wow. Look at that, man. Wow. Let's go way over here and check it out. Check it out. Whew. Down there it's lit up too, look at that. Panoramic view. The banana forest. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm gonna check out what Rain is talking about. Another typhoon. Two more. Let's go check that out. Oh my god, oh my god. Nah. Ah, I'm gonna buy Oh my god. Buy some mouthwash too. No. Oh, John Jack's gonna eat that. Just a dry fish. I think you will eat some of Jung Jung's food. Yeah. 
They don't bark. They don't bark. You don't like these kind of fish, Mom? No. Why? There's a lot of bone. There's a lot of bone. They look cool, though. <laughs> That's a friend of our sister's house down here. In America, my wife has a friend named Dina. And her sister lives right down there. typhoon now. Looks nice, don't it? Blue sky from now on. Me and the goat are waiting for mom to come out. <laughs> so that's a billy goat. And I'm the greatest of all time, goat. <laughs> oh. No. The goat, a goat machinist, that's what I am. Goat. It's a good day for the Vikings, you know. And uh, I just watched the highlights of the Falcons game. Classic Kirk Cousins game. Two interceptions. Fumble. I even went down there. She told me that a bird was eating it. And I went and looked at them all, but I didn't see it. But she held it up this morning. Oh! Mini. They will get soft after you pick it, huh? Yeah. Let me get a picture of it. These are what the man, the um, Addis look like. Look, it's uh, tomorrow it will be ripe. Because yeah. It's crack. When it crack or it's turned like golden brown, like that one down there. Yeah. See yeah. how it got kind of gold? It's going to crack too, I bet you. And I didn't even see the one that the bird ate. <clears throat> I even looked at it yesterday, but I didn't see it. But she, I saw her throw it in here. See it? Oh, yeah, it's half eaten. Half eaten. Wow, look at that spider. Look at that garden spider right there. That's a fat boy. Wow. Nice. Very good, man. Keep up the good work. And there's many more. Look at that big one down there. Oh, she scared the garden spider here, I guess. He fell down here. Now that's, that's the little one I saw yesterday. But they moved around. There's still many. See up there, over there. 
Over there, there's a couple of them, three of them. And then down below, hanging, there's some. Like down in there. I see one down in there. You see it? <laughs> it's hard to see through the lens, but it's there. <clears throat> right there. I stuck them up on the sticks yesterday, but that one is still working. Said it wouldn't hang on the ground. I think she picked that one. So there's another one. There's three more. It's a good producer this year. Oh yeah. Very good. And then down in there close. There's some little ones. There's some little ones. Stuff you can't see from over there. There's another one. Oh yeah. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Was that one? It just died. Like that black one right there. What is that? One that just shriveled up. <laughs> just didn't make it. Couldn't cut the mustard. Yeah, see, I, I propped it up like that. I keep that, those two off the ground right there. Saved the Addis Day. Wow. Talk about Jurassic Park. Look at this. Let's see it give you a comparison. Probably will jump. Wow. <laughs> Dude. Don't eat my banana trees, man.